Ekale nguale nyanga ekomishini ya malungelo abantu eningzi mafrika petalezi South African Human Rights Commission. Ikipe umbigo veza uguti kule zingane ez ngabalelua gu 116 ez bula weizi for ez dalwa indlala paka tigo nyaga ka 2021 gu ya gu 2022 ez funda zwenye sasa mpuma koloni. Ikomishana liti ukwa ningo luabulu kumbisa uguti ez ngane ibalelua gu 1087 ze kumbisa ama zinga apezu luogu ngelegi ga legule ez funda zwe. Umbigo upinde watola uguti. Isbona leloska hulumeni sezi ngane siga 510 genyanga. Asenele futi siye hulega uknigeza ingane uguta ukno msoto. Kulele vigele lule ikabineti lingu se umpagati uguti. Usebenzi se inziza ei kishwa uhulumeni uktenga uguta. Kantu ngongo sheo visindiga menga meli ukumbuto nchabeni. Ute uhulumeni ukatazegile ngombigo we komishin elpege lama lungelo abandu kuleli. Kulele vigo selwe ni askulu mele tutuwa kumbuga. Kwa hili sibuza uguti, ipi dange ganga ganani inkinga yogu ngondlegi katlewe zingane ni nzima Afrika. What can be done to reduce the rates of growth, stunting and deaths as a result of malnourishment? What interventions are there, uh, in fact, are the authorities putting in place to curb these unnecessary child deaths? Mbugel, sikbingelele, sikwa mgelo, selo nika malam kingu bongiwe, umakumalo wagwazwane. Sikumbuze ge mbugel uguti, ungaba inganyalu lulselo, ngugushayla utingo, sizo, umbuzo, noma, umbono wako. Iyo nombolo zetu zo utingo ge, ziti 0117140677, noma 0117140678. Kanto ngabuye futu stole kumakaseto kumana, at SABC is in Daba, go X, can you go Facebook, SABC is in Daba, uguzek belu lage mbuga ili stela ukale ngo hashtag askulume, hashtag SABC News, besige upala umbozo, noma umbono wako, askulume. Mbugeli ntlanga noeze politiki i Democratic Alliance. Isifage iskalu kukomishana ya malunge labantu. Gomonga melu siru ramaposa. Lentlanga no iti u ramaposa. Nkuyena odale ntlala ingane. Eikisha zifige zgidine ntlanu. Zase ningze maafrika. The opposition party says it has long put forward proposals to government to end child hunger. These include raising the child support grant to the food poverty line and reviewing the list of zero rated foods to include a bone in chicken, baby food, and other items most commonly bought by low-income households. Ngapambigo guba samgele i hambele zetu, agesibuge lombigo ovela empumakoloni. Neko apa imbi, ya elisazo, nantengo kwa bando baninzi besala kuimeko ezu kwaiba inda wa basala kuyo aishaliki izindu zia wosoka kulu sapo unabanduana abalishumende standard wa bapila na panzi kwenye njala ebu mvu lo wa sikini wako zanga kuzbamba inyembezi gelita etaza inzela akulisanga abanduana kapande kwenye suwa panzi kwenye mbu mlo yo inza lebantua nini inzi magakulu inzi magakulu but Kumkama okutekungepi ukusuwa kwa ilikaya la kwa tambuza gomye mzi wa kwa kwaikwa. Na lapo unabantu wa balishumine sanu, abatoba, ngabantu wana, bonke bapila na pansi kwa meko enzima. Ndi, gende limali enge konga ayu. Siye siti kwa abantu wana beholi grant. Siti engi 25 ezi yutu. Ze mili mili. Siya zuba noko. Sizo wamba siye e elwandle sizo tola. Ischebo, opu tibazo kwa zuhu wa mba ba mbe bo kaka nisela ii nka au nga peza hansi. Sicho sikuwa zuhu toli ischebo. Ama futa sawa, sazi numa indogu enza na ama futa. Eli kengiana, liavu mbali ngeti sabanda kwa abo kansegi sakuba. Lizingela inka au kuna kuza bafuma na uko uja. Ya hija ya, sikuwa si hija na. Nendu natike nga sifundi sababetu. I'm not a great, especially the town in Iron option. You're going to let on a table, guess you see, not to sing a log, but slightly skilly. 
sihluta phezulu abantwana baninzi kule idlali bahamba kwesisikolo sabantwana abancinanana bahambi ke beza pelambile lokha mabangi besiza benempawu ezibonakalayo sesifo ekwasha kunye nokutyatyazo abantwana mhlawumbi ngamanye amaxesha baye babe na ne chicken pox i ikwashi i isisu ngoba asina unamanzi kule lali so injalo into yayo entluphe kuya lelali and yes uyahlutshekwa ngabazali abasinike nemali yesiguli fees indlela ikhona lokho abanye abantwana beza bengatyanga ngelinye ixesha ukutya apha esikoleni ne akukho bafika belambile so siyesidilishane nalo ngincwadi ezi sezinye zemeko ezichazwa ikomishoni jongene namalungelo abantu emzansi Afrika njengokunyatshwa kwamalungelo abantu tinkulule kunyembezwe ndabase SAPC Airports and Jones Mbuga luk dingi taka banzi nga luka samgele i hambele ze tu Dr. Aileen Carter, the Eastern Cape Head of Human Rights Commission, no mandla mabunda CEO of Masana Dietitians, ganye no Corrine Conradi, gift of the Givers Eastern Cape Coordinator. Let me welcome you all and thank you so much for your time. I'm going to start with you, Corrine. Um, we've seen what is happening on the ground, but do we really have an understanding of what exactly is going on, given the fact that you've been there? Just paint a picture for us of how bad it is. It is evident that, well, good evening, thank you for having me and a very good evening to all the uh, listeners and viewers. Uh, with our work on the ground in the various rural areas, it is evident that um, food insecurity is on the rise and poverty is affecting families mentally, physically. Um, we have spoken to mothers just last week where we had a distribution in the Tholeni area or food parcels and mothers said to us, you know, we give our children water for weeks. Uh, the only meal that they do get is uh, from the schools when there's no food at home. We have spoken to mothers with children I, uh, diagnosed with malnutrition um, and they said, we don't have money for food. Unfortunately, we are waiting on food parcels or forms of relief a tragic incident in the Tholeni area where a mother tragically took the lives of her children, including her own, led to us uh, engaging with the community. And so many mothers are telling us we do feel like killing our children because every day we have to see how our children are starving to death. We work with various clinics and hospitals who are sending us requests to assist because there's not a lack of medication in the province, but these medical teams tell us they, they unfortunately, due to lack of food, those yeah. medication are not working. Um, mothers with HIV uh, give birth to babies that are not uh, they are HIV negative and they are advised not to breastfeed their children. Uh, and they tell us, unfortunately, that's the only food for my baby. So although that might kill my child in the long yeah. run, it's the only food I can give my child. Sure, Corinne, that is very difficult to hear. And, uh, uh, you know, Dr. Katz, I'm listening to this and, and, and also reading the report um, that was put together by the Human Rights Commission. It's so difficult not to weep when you think of what is happening. And, and, and the fact that, you know, mothers are, are saying such things is even more difficult. Are you seeing a coordinated response to, be, to, to try and address this? So what we've done from our side is we've given all the stakeholders uh, in three months to six months to respond to us. But what we've made very clear is that this is an urgent issue. One of the 38 recommendations that the Human Rights Commission has put forward to the stakeholders is to perhaps consider declaring a state of disaster. Now, in terms of the uh, Disaster Management Act, you would know that um, one of the elements that would constitute such means that a community is no longer equipped or able to address this issue themselves. And that is surely what we are seeing here. It is tragic. And when it comes to children, uh, their needs are, are immediately realizable. We have to address it now. There's no time to waste. Yeah. So, yes, it's an absolute uh, dire situation on the ground. But we do hope that with the right coordination and with the right will, we're going to move forward from this.
Mandla, one of the things that is very clear is that when you look at a child, and a child is not um, fed a nutritionist meal, and we're seeing report after report talking about how children are going hungry, we definitely do not understand the dire consequences that that has on the growth of a child. Indeed, you know, Bongiwa is very sad sitting here listening to all these reports and what the gift of the givers are trying to do on this matter. But the truth of the matter is we are in a very challenging situation as a country, not only the Eastern Cape. This 27% of stunting, by the way, it's a national statistics, is just highlighted due to those deaths and, 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 and the case now with the old lady who killed herself and her children. But you know, the consequences long term are very, are, very, are very concerning because we're talking about a child who, at birth, actually at preconception, the mother, when she's pregnant during the first thousand days of life, if she's not eating healthily, already you're already shortchanging your child. Now, the child is born continuous. Non breastfeeding is concerning that mothers are being told, even when HIV positive, you still need to breastfeed. As long as it's exclusive breastfeeding, your child can be protected from the virus. And then now thirdly, when you're not supplementing your children right and not giving them nutritious foods like you maintain, the kids highly likely to drop out at school because brain development does not okay. And what does that mean? Educational outcomes are, 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 are undermined. Now this child will most likely drop out of school, most likely not get into the formal employment and not contribute to the economy. What are we saying about the future of our country? So reports like this, honestly, Bongiwe, are very concerning. And we need to take action as a collective and not a single entity. Yeah. And Mandla, I want to, you know, when we come back, we talk about that action, mm -hmm. um, all of us. And what does that kind of action look like? Yeah. Because we, 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 we can't continue only to lament. Um, if gift of the givers are doing something, what then do we all do in order to try and assist? Mugel, Agassi, Shale, $8. Ngelelo <laughs> Well, first, let's start with the Social Relief of Distress Grant. Um, the department received during the 2021-2022 20, um, budget adjustment estimates uh, an amount of 134 million rands um, for this particular um, uh, grant. So the, the committees for uh, deciding the bills set and um, the actual distribution of food started on the 2nd of March uh, of that year and with the last distribution on the 18th of March in 2022. But uh, the financial year was coming to an end and um, so to avoid an irregular uh, spending the department uh, heeded a call by the uh, provincial treasury uh, to surrender the funds for other uh, pressing issues, uh, cost pressures in government, and one of those was the scholar transport. Um, the department continues to assist in the fight against uh, malnutrition and food security um, through its uh, various intervention programs, and uh, these include a 10-month supply of food packs to malnourished children, and also, we also funding what we call the um, uh, food gardens in communities. We also funding what we call also the um, the community nutrition and uh, distribution, or rather development centres, where communities go into these centres and receive uh, nutritious meals on a regular basis. Um, we also encourage what we call uh, people must produce their own food in order to be able to be self-sustainable. But the fight against malnutrition, it's a fight that I believe would require everyone's intervention from government, uh, private society, and communities in general. 
but we also implore communities once you see a malnourished child do not hesitate to come to the department or any other government department to receive help immediately Bogeli lo begu umzugi se solani from the Eastern Cape Department of Social Development. So many questions. So many questions after what he's just said. So many questions. And one wishes that they, you know, really could have been part of this particular conversation. But Dr. Carter, let me come back to you. I mean, we hear of the fact that right now money is being sent um, back to Treasury because there's competing interests, scholar transport and all of that. How do you even begin to not be able to utilize the money, and you say that you've got 10 month, um, you know, food hampers, there's food gardens. If these are in place, then why are we seeing the hunger? I think that is precisely what we've asked through issuing this report is to say that we acknowledge there are programs in place. Uh, two of the best programs that are in place is the National School Nutrition Program, the Child Support Grant is there. But with that being in place, and even the ECD sector subsidies, we're still seeing malnutrition and severe acute malnutrition deaths. So clearly something is not working. Mm. And we need to recalibrate. What we have also put forward is that we are concerned that that process is getting precedent over, in fact, the lives of children. So what we have requested the departments also to take into consideration is human rights-based budgeting. Before we take money back to the fiscus, to the general purse, are we taking that money, in fact, away from children having food on the table to be ring-fenced into another purpose? So those are the questions that we are asking, and certainly that is exactly what we need to get to the bottom of. Yeah. If we are still seeing these increased numbers, and, and in June or July this year, uh, the Minister of Health even indicated that there's a 26 percent increase in these matters. So the data that was before us during this inquiry on which the report is based is already outdated. Sure. And now we need to ask ourselves, we have these programs in place, so what is not working? Mm -hmm. Why are we still seeing these children? And uh, I'm going to let you go, but thank you so much, Dr. Carter, for your time. I know you have to rush off, uh, but thank you so much uh, for being with us on the program and really just sharing your insights. And these are questions that, um, Corinne, we are asking. If these processes, these programs are working on the ground, then why do we see so much hunger? And I'm sure it must enrage you to hear that money is being sent back. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. And... Um... They have programs, they've got their feeding programs. And just recently, again in the Tholeni village, we have visited one of their sites where they have the nutritional program, uh, the, the DSD. And we have asked them, how many people do you uh, support from this uh, uh, nutritional program? And they showed us their list. It was 120 individuals in a village where there's plus minus 400 impoverished households. If to the givers have extended support to the very same soup kitchen, we now deliver bulk foods every month. So that 120 numbers can be extended to rather families instead of individuals. Again, in a school in one of the villages, they have sent us a request for food. Now, we do know schools are getting a budget for, from the Department of Education for nutrition. And um, we asked them, but how come you are requesting food when you do get a budget for food? What is the situation? They showed us their paperwork. They showed us the budget. And when you calculate that budget with the amount of children there is at the school, it comes to 1 rand 29 cents that they, ha they have to feed a child on a daily basis. These children do not have access to a nutritious meal. Sure. So saying that you've got a nutritious budget or budget for nutrition, uh, it's ironic. Yeah, and, and, and Mandla, I'm going to ask this question, and, 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 and for me, it's exactly what um, it is. Do we really not care? about the future of this country that is the children. If we're listening to a department telling us that they've had to send money back, mm -hmm. that they are now supporting lesser people in villages, that they've got programs that they themselves are not even ensuring on the ground that things are working. Do we really not care? It unfortunately tends to look like that, Bongiwe. However, it's, it's quite complicated. I think 
food security as a multi-sectoral um, challenge presents itself as a complicated issue to try and resolve because mm -hmm. you have a champion from health, education, social development, rural development, all these stakeholders are supposed to rally under one umbrella of trying to resolve the situation. That actually lends itself to not having a champion at all because mm. there's no ac accountability in terms of implementation. I'm telling you on paper we have the best programs to address this thing. Actually, we're not supposed to be having food security issues, let alone malnutrition issues in our country. Based on what we have on paper, the challenge is implementation strategies that we have in place. So if we can resolve that or marry the two so that there's one consensus, and maybe if it's too much for the government to handle, given some of the mandates that they have to do, we, we heard the guy from DSD, let's also allow private players in to the, come in in the space mm. people who are passionate about that we do have non-profit organizations whose sole purpose is to actually address issues around malnutrition and food security and also people like yourselves who yeah. can come in and sit and say this is how much of a budget and and stuff you can get that is nutritious food for a child mm. on a budget that you are able to afford but let's talk about that when we come back from the break I guess it's a little eight dollar seven. In a country that is a net exporter of food, what can be done to reduce the rates of growing of growth, stunting and deaths as a result of malnourishment in South Africa? Corinne, I'm going to start with you. What are some of the easy wins um, as you've, you know, toured the country, seen the Eastern Cape as well? What do you think can be done right now to try and resolve this crisis? Apart from the short-term solutions, which, which we already are working on and we've done, which is your food parcels, it is very critical and vital to look at the long-term solutions, which is, your, which is our sustainable projects, like starting agricultural farming. Uh, I've heard DSD say that they do invest into food gardens. Um, we'd like to know which areas and how effective it is, but household gardens um, we need to invest more into that and in, into economic growth, not just in urban areas, but also in rural areas. And when we engage with these communities, they do have the land. They just do not have the resources. Yeah. And for you, Manda? You know, I think at this point we need to look at the acute solutions and long-term solutions like Dr. Carter has mentioned. I believe now we need to provide nutrition to this kids and that also includes supplementation. Most of them are deficient in a number of vitamins that they need today, not yesterday. So we need to partner with people who manufacture those food products to provide that so that these kids can also be saved. And then in the long run, we need multi-stakeholders like we said. We need people who are doing education in terms of basic gardening. We need to teach the children where the food is coming from, instilling the passion for growing their own food and thus, you know, trying to come up with solutions as far as food security is concerned. So we need all these departments. Department of Health must come on board. Social development, education, even, even, even rural development needs to come on board as well because it's a multi-stakeholder activity. However, we also need to embrace more private-public partnerships. Let's open the scope to allow stakeholders within these different fields to come and share their expertise, to come and also help the government with managing the implementation process. I think in that way, we will, we will, we will make some inroads in this, yeah. in this dire situation. Because it does look like it now requires everyone. Yeah everybody yeah. to get involved. Mbugel, even you at home, if you see your neighbor going hungry, don't turn a blind eye. It is now time to really help one another because we can see this crisis unfolding and I'm certain that no one wants to see a child or a family go to bed in hunger. I guess I guess again is to Dr. Aileen Carter.
the Eastern Cape Head of Human Rights Commission, Nomandla Mabunda, CEO of Masana Dietitians, Kanye Nokorin Konradi, Gift of the Givers Eastern Cape Coordinator, as a temple with the Inwako Izo Kubega in Kundlenze to Zokumana in the Marakulenda. Wakumalogos on Timbale Askulume, sitting Salimala.